hello guys welcome back to another new video so today i'm going to show you something interesting so as you can see here a little cute uh, small smartphone so this is samsung galaxy y young this is my first ever android smartphone and i got it around 2012 but this phone was released in 2011 but this phone got really really low quality hardware like it got 2 megapixel of camera and the display you can see the pixels and also it got uh, 800 megahertz processor single core and also it got 256 mb of ram and also 256 mb of storage so in comparison if i say talk about my blackberry device which i have got now this is blackberry 9790 and this is also uh, same era or same time 2011 or 12 this one got actually more than 700 mb of ram i think dual core processor and it got 8 gigabyte of storage it's amazing actually as you can see here although and also it got better quality camera which has autofocus and other things but uh, today i'm going to talk about my phone which is here so when i got this phone i got this phone new actually someone sent it from foreign country to my father but he doesn't know how to use this phone so he just gave me i i was also new about this kind of phone i i never used any kind of an uh, smartphone before that i was using nokia i think 1600 which is black and white display which has black and white display no internet just phone call and messaging so before that i didn't use any kind of uh, phone smartphone so but when i got this i thought it got uh secondary cameras too so as you can see here you can see some sensor which are proximity sensor first i thought uh it got uh what it called uh secondary camera but i was wrong so actually i used this phone around two or three years i think uh, uh, until 2014 after that i, I sold the, my phone and i got this phone from someone else someone gifted me when when, when he, he come to know that uh, this was my first smartphone so he just gave me this phone he said you keep it as your memory i have a lot of memories with this phone i have flashed a lot of custom roms a lot of customization cyanogen mode and there were some kind of sony roms and other things i have done so many things still when i got this phone i just first what i did i I just rooted the phone and uh, put custom ROMs. Some I tried some custom ROMs, and because I was not using this phone, I just uh, flushed the uh, stock ROM and just root the phone. As you can see, I have root super user here. Root the phone and also uninstalled all the necessary apps. So it's uh, quite fluid now, and I, I think still you can install Facebook and Light and Messenger Light. You can use these apps here. And it's quite a good phone actually i don't know it can handle youtube or not let's check it's quite uh as you can see it's quite fast actually it's not that bad although it's from 11 years ago let's try youtube so if i try youtube so it got actually it got uh uh, you can put sim card and you can call and message with this phone and i have tried it and also uh it, it got 3g internet connection also you can you can i think uh, as you can see in, in they said your device is no longer supported so i can't really browse youtube here so uh, it got 3g internet and also you can inst uh, use hotspot from this phone it's it it got decent battery backup it, it can last really long actually if you don't do anything if you're just using for this phone for your call and text this phone will last a lot long so as you can see visually it looks not that good right now but when i first got it i, I was loving it because of its size and everything also uh, first time i was holding some um, what it called capacitive touch phone before that i have used some resistive touch phone from my friends and others but when i got this and i touched the phone it was cool actually so as you can see here it's just um, still it works just fine so let's go and see what version of android we are running now so if i go here i just um let's go about phone 
and as you can see uh, we are running android 2.3.6 which is called android gingerbread so there is a picture when you tap sometimes and builder version you will not got that nowadays you have to uh, tap builder version for to get a uh, developer mode but previously the developer mode was there in somewhere here about and i think it's inside uh, application or some somewhere else so it was there you no need to uh, activate from uh, what it called go developer mode and other things and rather than that this phone actually you can't really install many apps here as you can see developer mode is here many apps here because of the internal storage is too low but you can put sd card but uh, there was a problem with that all the apps can't be moved to the external storage so it has become very sluggish so be because of that i need to root the phone and i have installed a lot of custom roms and i have tried many kinds of things on this one it's really as you can see here still because i have removed my uh, sd card the upper mini and other things are gone and as you can see here it's got 126 mb of uh, storage free and running let's see it, our ram and 170 mb of ram is still free and 80 mb is using so I, as i said it got 256 mb of ram and i just put one 32 gig sd card in its handling just fine and it got decent um, battery backup other things and also it can do multitasking as you can see here so it can do decent multitasking let's see it's use as you can see it's it's kept all the things uh in the memory not all of them but a few of them it kept in the memory so it's still actually you can use facebook light on this phone i have tried it and it's better than i think my blackberry as you can see here you can't really use Facebook also it's really hard to use because you have to go to your Opera mini browser to use that it's not really convenient so here you can actually you can still use Opera mini and other things you can download let's try to download Facebook light and try to install it Facebook light for Android 2.3.6 actually so 2.3 if i type 2.3 it will it should give me some so okay i can download facebook light i think so i can install it i have used actually previously i, I have used facebook light for a long time on this phone it now nowadays it's really difficult to type on this phone it it got a, a very tiny display because of tiny display and also as you can see you will get so many errors but if you are heavy if you have this phone I, one thing you can do you can install opera mini or use your browser you will not get this kind of error i think also maybe you can browse uh, youtube i don't know but i haven't tried so let's try to install facebook here i don't i if i can download it so yeah it's started downloading and also there was a uh, when i got first time got this phone uh, i i was not able to uh, use internet actually so uh, i had to go someone to help me to have to set up the internet so as you know in android phone you have to set up some kind of apn to turn on the internet also you have to go to turn on internet as i said i i haven't used any kind of smartphone previously so i was a noob i didn't know that so i need to go to someone to help me and also he said whenever you use internet you have to turn it on then you can use internet otherwise it will not work it's not like nokia phones uh, whenever you want you can use internet so as you can see here facebook light is working i don't know messenger light will work or not i don't think it will work because it was introduced uh not i think it's it i let's try can use or not so, so messenger light let's try messenger light as you can see i i do a lot of mistype on this phone because it really tiny actually but it's it was not that bad at time because i was i was a kid at that time teenager so my hand was not that big so it was perfect for me at that time but now i can't really type here let's try to type messenger light 
for Android 2.3 so let's try if I get one I will download I don't I I think it will work Facebook Messenger Lite they are showing non DPI Android 2.3 plus hopefully I hope I hope it will work so let's try to download it so anyway if you if you have this phone and if, if, if you are not using this phone or you are thinking that it's a useless phone then don't think that it's useless you can do many things on this phone actually so you can still you can watch 480p videos I think if you have uh, copied from your computer to your phone also you can listen to the music and other things it got quite good speaker too not that bad actually it's for for nowadays it's it may be bad but for that time it was decent actually so i will show you some picture of this phone i will take a picture of my buddha statue so let's take i have a lot of photos actually taken with this one although i can't show them because it's on in my pc right now so messenger light is working i don't know calling feature will work or not it will be amazing if you can call from this phone using messenger light i don't know i will try i will definitely try it it's 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 crazy actually this phone is i don't know it, it can install it or not so you have to be careful when you are using installing these apps you have to as you can see it just didn't install the app i maybe have, uh, have to download something lower version to work with this one if it can install that uh, what it called messenger light and can call it will be awesome actually so let's try our music app actually music app is quite nice on this phone as you can see all the apps and this is the this all our song i have put and let's try i have any ncs should have actually i didn't put any ncs file here i think yep so i don't have any file which i can share i think i can so i can sh um, uh, show you the ringtone i think so let's check the ringtone let's take out So what the horizon is uh, actually a default ringtone of this phone it's quite nice actually so i have removed um play store from this phone also google services because those things actually make this phone slow so i don't use those um, or i have removed those apps if you uh, if you have this phone and it's struggling to run then just root it and uninstall some of the apps then it will run really fast also when I, when I got this phone actually first time uh, what I did is that I went to someone and I told him to set up internet for me he set up internet for me and I have downloaded this game first time and it got actually uh, sensors or uh, excel accelerometer sensor which is and you can do this kind of thing where which, which follow um, as you can see that it's loud so I was really surprised that I can play game like this so and there was fight between me and my younger brother because of this phone he also wants to play with this phone but uh, I was not giving him to play so there was a lot of memory with this phone let's try this game will work or not still so as you can see here I just follow as you can see here it's slow but it works for that time it was really good so when when I, I was using this phone I was not able to install a lot of apps where my friends were using those apps so it was really uh, time so let's check the camera as I say I, I will give you a demo of camera 2 megapixel camera so let's let's take a photo uh, there is no focus, no autofocus, nothing. Just and it took a photo. Let's check the photo. So here you can see the photo here. 
it's not that bad actually i think if i take it from this side from this angle i think it will be better let's try let's try from this angle actually maybe it will be better and as you can see here we got the photo it's not that bad i have a lot of photos uh, uh taken with this from i think more than fifty thousand. i still have i have those photos with my friends and families um, let's see um uh, our i can shoot video or not with this one yeah i can shoot video let's check so video quality is 2 340 by 240 with 320p i think it's not that bad for this phone actually it can shoot uh, video that's that is the main point so it can sh it should video so that's it and basically it's an android phone from 2011 quick as you can see here i can put the whole phone inside my palm and and my finger can cover all all display thing so it's really hard hard to type and it's quite good also the booty skin is also quite nice actually so let's show you the booty skin so let's power off the phone it goes something like this nowadays it just switch off samsung phone i think i don't remember that so let's try to turn on as you can see samsung galaxy y young gts 5360 and also uh, um, so a few times actually I was got hard heart bricked of this phone and I need to use some kind of uh, dongle to flash the firmware because I was not able to boot into even download mode so I have used some kind of uh, tools which uh, with, I made it with register by watching YouTube and it, it, it booted on uh, uh, what it called download mode so as you can see it's quite fast actually not that bad for 10 years old phone so let me show you that i still got the recovery mode or not so i was i have installed i think that one is cwm recovery which is called i, I don't really remember full form of cwm still so let's check it can boot into it or not so just switch off let's try Yes, as you, yeah, no, no, no. This one is a uh, original stock recovery. Um, so I can flash just recovery by going this apply adapter from SD card. Just navigate to the um, what it call your specific your specific uh, TWRP. Just uh, click it and it will boot into TWRP. It was really easy. Rooting this phone was really easy you just have to file download a file if the name of the file was like update dot zip i think so and i have downloaded it first time when i got a custom rom on this phone it was sinus and mode i think and before that i have bricked my phone two three times and i, I need to go to shop to uh, install the um, stock roms and later on i just learned how to flash the custom rom and other things and it made my interest from that time actually i was just got interested about this kind of thing repairing things and other things and that from that i just working on it but i i, I didn't have any courage to upload any kind of video but later on just i try to upload some videos so that's it for my first android phone really cute phone got uh, micro usb port actually not mini usb also got 3.5 mm headphone jack which is uh gone around nowadays and you can still use this phone use you can use for music player or you can put your sd card also you can use as a dumb phone uh, and it can hold actually quite uh battery for quite long time and you can use still use facebook so that's it for today thank you very much for